What's up, beautiful Sagittarius gang? Welcome to my channel, The Intuitive Teacup. That is me. You are Sagittarius, and you are here for your February 2020 general tarot reading here on YouTube. Uh, because we are on YouTube, guys, that means not everything I say will resonate for you in this general message. Pieces and parts of it very likely will if you associate with Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, even Jupiter. Um, I hope lots and lots of this resonates, um, but ultimately it is up to you Saggies to come into this with an open heart and an open mind and essentially to take away only the messages um, that speak to you in some way, that resonate, that fit your cir uh, circumstance or scenario, that motivate you, empower you, inspire you, confirm something that you already knew, that type of energy. Um, that's great. That means it was your message. Um, if something feels foreign or strange or doesn't fit your circumstance or scenario, Drop it like it's hot. That means it's probably not your message. It's probably someone else's energy that I'm connecting with. In which case, you don't need to take on those messages. All right, those are the rules. You're sick of the rules. I feel it. Uh, everything else is written for you in the description box below. That's going to include the decks I'm using here today, as well as my social media. I am the Intuitive Teacup on Facebook, Instagram, and .com. Check out my website if you want to learn more about me, about my tarot journey. Ooh, you got great bottom of your deck cards. What else do I need to tell you? Um, your financial reads are already posted. They are good through the end of February, so check out your career and finances tarot. Other than that, I'm just happy to have you. Mad love for the Saggies. You guys are my, you guys are my uh, supporters, so I appreciate you. All right, general cards for Sagittarius. I got one more deck we're gonna we're gonna go through, and then we're gonna start. For Sagittarius, for Sagittarius, for Sagittarius. General messages. Sagittarius. <clears throat> Ooh, that one wants to come out. Okay, those two. <clears throat> For Sagittarius, general messages, month of February, February 2020. Most important messages for Sagittarius. For Sagittarius. Ooh, that shot out. Okay. Sagittarius for Sagittarius. There we go. All right, cool. Let's do it, Sagittarius. Boy, that was a long shuffle. So your energy is presenting as Knight of Swords, Eight of Cups. I love how these came out, too. It's like the Knight of Swords has had some sort of thought or epiphany of something he or she, right, is wants to chase after with speed and agility, um, with, with the ultimate truth in mind, knowing that, like, they will be the victor. They are going to conquer it. And I love that this came up for you, Sagittarius. That's you, right? Male or female, King of Wands, that is the highest vibration of the wands that isn't Major Arcana. This is some sort of, like, uh, like sounding of the gun at the beginning of a race, you take off and you're leaving um, you're leaving something behind that caused you great sorrow. Um, something about a false truth you you believed it was something that um, could nourish your fire long term. And it's not that it didn't, but it was temporary. It, so this could represent a job that you're walking away from that. I think you enjoyed parts of it. But ultimately, it left you feeling like it was dulling your flame. It was snuffing out your fire, so to say. This is having great strength, great courage in pursuing something that lies ahead that is calling out to you. It's actually like very spiritual. So you may have had dreams about this. You may feel like your your guides, your messengers, your your uh, you know spirit, whatever is is kind of nudging you to to go after and pursue this. It may involve something with a Leo um, for those. And I mean, you may have Leo in your chart, but it feels external. So I don't know if you have a parent that you look up to that, that was sort of kind of like a leaving a breadcrumb trail for you or, or just, you know, spirit guides, um, particularly if you have like a, an ancestor. But I, that seems so far in, into the past. A, um, it could be anybody in your life who has departed. And I'm not predicting this, but if someone you loved greatly that was a fire sign, particularly a Leo, they are in, in like in metaphor leaving this this breadcrumb trail for you to follow to to go pursue like it could be your destiny but that that puts such like a huge emphasis on what this next thing is it doesn't have to be huge it just feels like it's something that's going to make you more happy than you are now whatever you are leaving behind yeah it was like draining on your heart space it felt like it's something that was Towards the end of you being there, it was just kind of sucking the life out of you. So this could be like a romantic partnership. It could be, you know, a friendship you've had with someone for X amount of years, but you kind of re realize that you outgrew them. It's funny. It's, it's a bittersweet feeling of walking away from this, 
But once you get over sort of the, the little pangs in your heart about, am I ready? Is this the right thing to do? It is. You're going to realize it absolutely is, and you're going to move forward on it. And this is saying leadership. So, so taking the lead to do something, maybe it's, maybe you're starting your own business. You know, maybe you've, you've worked a corporate job and now you're, you're going to go and be an entrepreneur or an independent this or that. Um, it could involve, and could involve arts or creativity of some kind, but also being a spiritual leader. Um, particularly helping families who are either uh, low in income or have suffered some sort of, um, it could be tragedy, some, something about like, um, uh, ooh, I heard burn victims. So I don't know if you're doing something in the hospital, like treating patients, but it feels more like, okay, you know what it is? It feels like a, like a house burning down, something about um, helping families who, who lost their house, who lost their home, who lost their possession. So it might be helping the homeless. It could be something like that. Or, or like Habitat for Humanity, like building houses, something about the shelters, you provide them shelter or you help to liaise them finding a better, a better fit or a, a better space or something like that, helping families. And, and it's sort of like this really beautiful symbolism of you leaving behind your shelter, your safety zone. Again, that, that little fire, it's like it used to set your world on fire. It used to be the only thing you saw and it used to be so good. But I'm just getting over the progress of time. Do you recognize it wasn't a good fit for you anymore? And so you left by choice. It's something like you're rushing towards some sort of leadership position. It's like you're helping people to find their way. That's a more generalized term of, of putting it. Wow, it's really beautiful energy. But yeah, you have two cards indicating fast, swift, rapid action. And this is incredible. Bottom of your deck is this fast, swift, rapid action towards the Ten of Cups, towards your ultimate happiness. And what's interesting is the dynamic of, as I was saying, it's bittersweet. Saying goodbye to this person or this job or whatever it is, it doesn't have to be huge, but saying goodbye to this old chapter of your life, it is very brave because it does cause you some sort of stress or anxiety because I think you're fearing that you're making a mistake but just to console any my Sagittarius's who are currently in the do I or don't I mode, overwhelmed by the emotions that come up when you think about leaving this person or this situation and going rogue, going independent, what awaits you by moving on? And again, it's such a card of bravery and courage, having faith and optimism that there's warmth up ahead. Again, something is going to light your fire. It's not just going to be like the snuffing of a flame anymore. What awaits you when you take that swift, uh, swift, rapid action movement forward? Find motivation to, to keep searching, right? To, to shoot your arrows through the air, you, you archers you. What awaits you is 10 of cups and 10 of pentacles. So for anyone wondering, should I go off on that trip? Should I go off and do that? Yeah, I would say you should. <laughs> Great cards, by the way. Under that is nine of pentacles, my single lady, single man's card. Um, but if you're looking for money or a job opportunity that will leave you abundant or, or just enjoying a, a comfortable lifestyle, it doesn't have to be materialistic, but it could be. Why not? It's your life. Nine of Pentacles indicates, yeah, it's going to be real cozy. It's going to be real cushy. And there will be love there. Yes, yeah, something about leaving one cup behind to go to another. Some of you, it does feel like... Um, it doesn't have to be a divorce, but it, yeah, going through some sort of relationship where you absolutely learned lessons from this. There was karmic partnership, karmic relationships, even in a business situation, in a job situation. Ultimately, leaving that behind. Oh my gosh, your guys, your deck is. Oh my god, it keeps getting better. It's stacked. Uh, nine, so wish fulfillments, right? That's what this card is, the nine of cups, all the dreams, all the wishes, everything you're desiring. And then with tens, it indicates the closing out of a cycle, but also longevity over time. This idea that you have, this ace of swords, that's, again, it's spinning around in your head. It's a spiral staircase because some days you want to talk yourself out of it and say, I'm not good enough. I could never have, you know, a new partner. I could never have a better job. No one will pay me what I'm worth, so I'm just going to settle. That is like a false belief that's eating away at you and, and blocking you from like amazing blessings trying to come in, new beginnings. It's aligning your head and your heart, making sure you're using them in equal balance. Um, because something about that is informing you as you as you move forward on the spiritual path. Yeah, it's time to break away of what feels heavy, of what feels like a burden, and put your cup out there for the universe and let them know, like, I'm ready to receive my blessings because I deserve it, right? Because because you do have so much love to give, and, and there is a desire to want to jump on it right now, 
but there's there's a back and forth again it's some days you think you don't deserve it or sometimes you think that was the only person that you could ever be with but then other days you're vibing really high and you're like no i'm ready for these new beginnings let's make them happen i'm so sorry guys my camera froze so i'm reading roughly for the month of february and this is saying to me like mid to end of february i think some of my sagittarians are taking like a huge leap of faith to move on and go towards something even if you're not emotionally certain and that is an odd way of putting it but i'm saying that because you had seven of cups come up there is something slightly overwhelming about it but internally you feel like um there is more joy there is more outcomes for for happiness um opportunities that that bring you excitement and joy it's almost like a kid in a candy shop there's so much to focus on he doesn't know what to look at first he or she right so it's something about um in the moment that's exciting but then it's almost like when you take small steps to pursue it you talk yourself out of it it's like you take one step and then you take three steps back because the closer you get to this either this new beginning or even like this victory it scares you a little bit and again it may have to do with valuing yourself or or recognizing that you do deserve wonderful things i think i've said this to you in other readings that you don't realize just how good it's going to be um you're, you're letting your darker thoughts win you're letting your negative thoughts overpower you I lost the card. You always get the Nine of Swords, Sagittarius. I swear you do. I don't know what I did with it. Oh, there it is. Yeah, letting the negative thoughts overpower you and stall you, right? She's not walking. She's not moving. She's, she's sitting there crying, right? And I mean, that does indicate to me some of you did go through a very difficult time. But again, with a 10, you're, you're closing that out. If you can find the willpower to pursue this, even though it does intimidate you, again, you have amazing things coming through. It's about believing in yourself, endurance, strength, recognizing you may have six objects coming at you, six wands, six people trying to tear you down, but you have the higher ground, Sagittarius. Like you're going to win this fight because spirit's got your back, right? All right, so let's look at your, you have so many good cards, I don't even know what to do with them. Let's look at your challenge or focus. <clears throat> So something with a Scorpio, um, and actually I said something similar to um, Aquarius. Leaving behind potentially a romantic partnership that really kept you trapped. Um, you may have thought it was your person for life, but really it was a karmic partnership. This person was meant to come into your life to hold a mirror up to you, right? It, it was something, it was a person that you needed at the time, perhaps because you may have actually been grieving about something else if you had lost a family member. And just to be very clear, that might be the same uh, uh, like spirit guide or guardian angel, however you want to say it, that is actually looking down on you now. If you lost somebody in the last, I don't know, two years, two to three years, something like that, that person still watches over you. But it was almost like because you were going through something difficult, and it doesn't have to be death, but a, a difficult time, you may have found a person to like nuzzle up against and they were like your counterbalance. They were your support system for days where, you know, it, it wasn't very pretty, right? You were feeling emotionally overwhelmed. You were feeling really sad. Your thoughts again were, were overpowering you. You were giving up your power and your strength to sadness, to darker energies. You may have found some sort of partnership that, that it held a mirror up against you. There were, there were many things you guys had in common or similarities but I, I do have to say it was lower vibing energy so it made sense that you found each other but ultimately it was for the purpose of lessons so that you could walk away and learn that it was almost like you guys found each other when you both needed each other you guys offered like this this support system someone you could lean on it was a friendship right and, and it may have blossomed into a relationship or some kind of some kind but that might also be what you're leaving behind and if there's no bad blood with this person whether it was romantic or not there is still some sort of recognition that you need to go off and do something on your own without leaning on them for support anymore and this card ten of pentacles great card it is called the support card though something about this to me sagittarius is this person helped you get your body back um and that's going to mean different things to other people but if you went through some sort of illness and, and it affected your health it could have something to do with that and again, i'm not predicting any of this right guys i'm just saying 
if you if you lost a parent or something and you were kind of like at their aid or at their bedside for you know potentially months on end you may have not been taking care of your own body you may have been you know not eating right or not exercising or just living sort of like a sedimentary lifestyle this person helped you helped you like either rebuild your body or rebuild your strength they may have also financially supported you if if you didn't have um, like income to take care of someone. It's almost like this person was your guardian angel. But it, what what I'm getting though is in a sense you figured out that in, in the long run something about this relationship actually kept you trapped. Codependency is what this feels like. It's like they they started giving you you little bits of this and that and then it was almost like it's very much devil energy. It was like a drug you needed more. But then I think you realized you, do, you did have to sever off something because you were either, I don't want to say taking advantage of it, but it wasn't helping you on your, your spiritual growth, on your spiritual path to move forward. This person couldn't be your lantern anymore. You had to go off and discover more things on your own. And it could have been with a Scorpio. Yeah, there's, there's two cards, three cards really indicating Scorpio. Um, This could have also been a business partnership too. If, if you got, if your income was somehow uh, combined in some capacity. So, I mean, it, it could be a spouse too. But yeah, if, if it wasn't romantic, it could just be like the death of a partnership. I just heard death of a salesman. Uh, maybe your father was a salesman, you know, some, something like that. But yeah, it's something like this, this partnership did ultimately close out in a cycle where again, it was bittersweet. You knew you had to leave it behind, but it was because there's something so much more beautiful out there. You just haven't realized it yet. That's coming up as your challenger focus is, yeah, um, saying goodbye to old ghosts. That's definitely coming through here. Um, but again, card number 19, the sun. Here comes the sun. We see it. It's, it's up around the bend, that Creedence Clearwater song. It's right there. You can see it. You can feel its warmth, but it's going to take some brave steps to... Oh boy, well, to release what you don't need, here it is. To go after it because it, it's honoring what your heart is calling you to do, even though it's scary, even though it's challenging, even though it requires a lot of strength. Emotionally, you guys are ready for this. Emotionally, it's time to grow and build. To go down that soul path, right? And probably alone with the Hermit card, Virgo energy, single lady, single man's card. All right, so let's see the help available to my Saggies. This is going to be a long video, isn't it? Yeah, all right. <clears throat> let's see. Love yourself, and accompanying that is the Three of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Yeah, knowing you have your soul tribe near you, right? This doesn't necessarily speak of um, romantic partnership. It could, but it is called a card of celebration. Celebrating your accomplishments, particularly with your soul tribe, your friends group, your family. Also, something about your spirit guides here, too. As I was saying, like leaving a, a breadcrumb trail for you to follow to draw you out of like your shell. You may have strong cancer in your chart. To draw you out of the comfort zone or what you've settled for in the past. Yeah, you're, you're being called to... Wow, you guys. Step into something greater, but it does involve transitioning. It does. I do keep getting the metaphor of like leaving your crab shell behind. I don't know if maybe this has to do with leaving a cancer behind. It could. Uh, or maybe it's going going towards a cancer or or even a Pisces for that matter. It's like the help available to you is recognizing that you've been in the chrysalis for quite some time. You've become that mushy pile of goo and it's, now it's like the butterfly. But the butterfly, it's like it's ready to come out of the, the chrysalis. It's ready to come out of of its, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, right? It's suspending in air, but like it's time to go fly. It's, it's to, time to pursue something new, freedom. Again, something with your career, something that is in alignment with your path um, spiritually and something that you have desire and passion for, right? It's fun, it's exciting, it's creative, it's inspiring. Some of you may be um, professional speakers or, or doing lectures, speaking to groups of people to communicate to them some important message. And it may also be like a life coach encouraging other people to go off and chase their dreams because you recognized, wow, there's a lot of reward when I align with myself, right? When I love myself and recognize I do deserve good things, it feels like the universe wants to shower me with gifts. Well, Sagittarius, you're right. That, that is the help available to you. Loving yourself you are going to step into your power and your confidence, and that will attract friendship at minimum, if not new romantic partnership, if that's what you're looking for, right? 
Something about the numbers three and four might be important, um, or seven for that matter. <clears throat> Let's see, three could be Gemini. They are the third house. Cancer is the fourth house. Uh, Aquarius is the 11th house. So any, any of those signs may be significant to you. And again, this is a card of Pisces. It's Neptune energy. So the idea of of dreaming about how great your future is, what if you actually took that really scary step to actually go do something with, it's not just being in a state of dreaming about it, it's again, aligning with your heart space to recognize I should go after this. Forward movement, and it's, it's not just casual, it's not like turtle vibes, like a little step here, a little, and crab vibes, right? I keep getting crab metaphors, side step here and a side step there, it's not, it's like, let's go for it. This is like, Sagittarius, let's do it because it lights your fire. Yeah, Page of Cups. Emotionally, it's time to grow. It's time to step out of the comfort zone and tap into whatever it is your heart is calling you to do. Really beautiful vibes. So yeah, help available to you. If money isn't good now, though, I don't know what this is. I mean, this something about this old friendship or this old network of support system Something about it was financially abundant, or again, it put at least it put you in an advantageous position to go do something because your body is bomb. Uh, maybe some of you are like, I don't know, maybe you're pursuing some sort of career where you have to be really in tone and in shape, and, and maybe that's what this has to do with, but you may also have received some sort of inheritance if you did have a loved one that passed. I mean, the fact that these are coming out right next to each other. Um, yeah, and, and if money was bad before, it's almost like that's what cut the rope to set you free. You were no longer living paycheck to paycheck. You, yeah, with, with someone, it's, yeah, it's something about like the closing out of a cycle with one person, it ushered in abundance in some way. And again, it's bittersweet. I don't, I think that was happenstantial or, or circumstantial. I don't think it's what you were desiring from it, but yeah, it could have been a divorce where you ended up with a larger lump sum of money than you were anticipating. And that may be actually spirit giving you some sort of gift. Again, that breadcrumb trail, giving you some sort of indication. Well, Sagittarius, if you stepped into some money, what other excuse do you have to not go after this, the scary risk that you're being called to do? Because you have a support system. There, there's something cushioning the blow. Even if you leap, right? And you don't land on your feet, something or someone, your soul tribe will be there to catch you when you fall. Um, yeah, do what your heart is calling you to do. <clears throat> and the, if this person is still alive that you're leaving behind that you have bittersweet feelings for, they still think about you too. And, and I'm not getting anything nasty. Something about this is also representing like an ex. And they, they're always going to hold space for you in their heart. But I think you, again, you have to align with what your heart is calling you to do and move forward on something to develop your own spiritual growth. And there's nothing that says, you know, you can't come back around to the right people. Ultimately, people that are meant to be in your life will find a way. Universe will help bring them back to you when, when they are supposed to be. But yeah, something about this, it's very spiritual. It's like you are being asked to ascend in, in your faith, in your spirituality, in, in understanding that there's so much out there for you. You've been settling or, or staying in the comfort zone and denying yourself these really beautiful opportunities, right? This could absolutely be monetary, but if it's not, it, it's like, Sudden wealth, it's, it's like the value of things in your life, the, the richness of the life you lead. There's so much more out there and it does come in the form of people. Soul tribe, expanding your network of friends. Again, something about this was very um, codependent. And, and don't take offense to that, I'm just reading the cards as they present. But yeah, there's, there's, that vibe is coming through a little bit. Um, yeah, some of you are absolutely pursuing something that involves your body, like a dancer or uh, I don't know, like a, it could be a coach at the gym or uh, yes, yeah, something about the, the way the body works and twists. Or maybe you should have been doing a shit ton of like yoga and meditation. That could be it too. But again, that, that is absolutely like a practice of, of like higher vibration. Like it can be quite spiritual. In fact, yeah, some of you may actually have had like a, I don't want to say an emotional breakdown, but an emotional response to doing some sort of activity or something where you sweat out the toxins. It, it left you in tears, but it was like a revival. It, it's something like, yeah, sweating out the toxins, it, it, it raised your vibe, but it came in the form of like happy tears. Interesting. 
All right, so final advice or guidance for Sagittarius. What a cool card this is. Three of Wands, Four of Wands. Well, there's some progress. It's like waiting for your ships to come in. It's like waiting for the perfect wave, right? You're ready to jump on it. The wave is here. You guys haven't been realizing it, but the wave has arrived. And sometimes this is the soulmate card, but a card of solid foundations, victories, uh, yeah, so small celebrations, marriages sometimes. You may meet someone at a party that you bond with instantly or multiple people. And again, it, it, something about it expands your friend network and that in itself allows for a lot of opportunities. You may meet someone and you guys, you've known each other like three days and you're like, let's go to Vegas, like let's have some fun. And Sagittarius, it feels like you need some fun. Um, and yeah, you, you got some money to spare, it looks like. So hell yeah, I, I would take advantage of that. With that though, you do have the tower and then look through the situation. It did come out in reverse. I don't know if that's significant. We'll, we'll look into that. <clears throat> let's see. Yeah, this is almost like you... <sighs> It's so funny. At the beginning of your reading, I got something about a burning building. So I'm not predicting this because I said it earlier. But yeah, for those who who lost their home to like a, a fire or a fire in your complex or something like that, like my heart goes out to you because that that is coming through again. But this is saying you have the chance to save yourself. It's like the building's going down. Are you going to like wait until the last minute and like fall out of a window? Or are you gonna like swan dive into your destiny? There's something about empowering yourself to recognize that the story you've been writing, it's not going anywhere. You know, the, the narrative is shit, the characters suck. And, and I'm saying this as a joke, please don't take that seriously. But it's like, if you don't like the chapter, crumple it up and throw it away. Like you got a pen in your hand, you can write any story you want. That's what this is sort of saying to me. It's like, if there's something you don't like, if some, something about like, a, I always hear the word shit storm when the tower comes out. If you're surrounded by people or a job that it's just draining on your energy, it just every day it's like, ugh. Why stay? Like, again, there's so much more ahead of you that, that you don't even realize. It's it, your, your negative thoughts are overpowering you. They're eclipsing your ability to see and envision all this amazing stuff in front of you. Nine and 10 of cups and pentacles, money and love, Sagittarius, it's up around the bend. It's right around the corner. It's just gonna take a lot of confidence a lot of confidence and unwavering. I, I, that's sort of the term I'm getting. When you, when you make a plan, stick to it. Uh, and so in a lower vibration, fire signs can get a little bit distracted, right? If it's not warm, if it doesn't have your attention, you, you may split and do something else. Stick to your plan of walking away. Don't be caught in this like seven of swords of do I or don't I? Am I gonna get caught? What will the repercussions be? Because ultimately those are the thoughts that aren't helping you. Those are the thoughts that are delaying like all these beautiful blessings coming into you. Keep your vibe high. Again, spiritually align with what your heart desires and move on that. Love yourself, right? If it doesn't come from a positive space of love, then, then you're going down the wrong path. You're going down the wrong direction. And, and when it says look through the situation, something about this is almost like the mental prison. This is like see through the bars. If, if in metaphor, right, you're sitting in a jail cell, it doesn't mean it's a, a blocked wall, right? You can still see through the bars. You can still see down the hall a little bit. And so again, in metaphor, this is saying, change your perspective just a little bit because you're going to be able to see those blessings in a better light. You're going to be able to understand that there is sunlight ahead. What you're leaving behind, it's actually so tiny in the grand scheme of things that when you reach the jackpot, right? When you reach the jackpot, all the blessings, all the tens, when you meet your soulmate, when you find your dream job, you're gonna look back and wonder why you didn't leave that small little pit fire earlier. And I, I don't say that to be mean or anything, but uh, there, because there is very much bittersweet feelings about this. You did love this person at one point. They did love you. You did love this job. You did love this coworker. But for the time being, and again, I'm reading for a month, this is indicating that person or that job or that thing have served its purpose in your life for the time being. And it was to let you know like, I was a shoulder for you to lean on, but it was temporary. This wasn't supposed to be your final resting place. This wasn't supposed to be your, um, your like your, your final destination. It's time to fly, right? It's time to fly. Maybe some of you are hopping on an airplane and going somewhere new. 
Some of you are going to bury the ashes of someone very important to you. And again, you've been delaying it because it's bittersweet feelings. You want to do it the right way, but it also brings up all a swell of, of really difficult emotions for you. And so, yeah, you, you've been avoiding it. That's kind of a random message for someone. All right, let's take one of these for my Sagittarians. But yeah, it's like the perfect wave. It's not going to get any more perfect than this. Like it's time. It's time to go. Some of you are vis visiting Hawaii, the North Shore. That's where all the surfers are, right? The big swell of waves. Be careful because it's actually really dangerous if that's you. But yeah, the perfect wave. And, and let's be real. When we're talking about the perfect wave, it's water, right? It's cups. It's water. It's emotions. It's love. Some of you may be working in some sort of career that, that you're by the water. I don't know if your, your office overlooks a lake or uh, it might literally be like marine biology or, or some or purification of like drinking water, especially if like humanitarian type stuff. That could be where you're traveling to to provide clean drinking water. Interesting. All right. <clears throat> my energy creates my reality. What I focus on is what I will manifest. Hell yeah, Sagittarius. I'm sorry the lighting is so bad. And then when I focus on my inner light, I see the world through the lens of love. Absolutely. That's what I was trying to say here. The, the metaphor, again, metaphor underscore of like seeing through the prison bars before it's like you saw it as an obstructed wall. It's something about you can reach your hand right through. You can see right through. It's like you're, you're actually not stuck here. The door has been unlocked the whole time. You just didn't see it that way. And that does have to do with your spiritual path. The door has been unlocked the whole time. The knowledge, the wisdom has always existed inside of you. But it's almost like you were trying, you were analyzing it too deeply. You were getting caught up in the facts and the data and, and the analysis of it when the information existed in your heart space, your emotional truth, your intuition, right? All right, Sagittarius, that's what I got for you. Please do like, share, subscribe. Let me know in the comments below what resonates for you. And I will see you very soon for more tarot. Bye.